Hey guys, so today I'm here with a video on LastPass. LastPass is an excellent password manager that allows you to keep all of your various passwords to all the great online sites that you use secure in one location that you can use on a variety of browsers, operating systems, even mobile devices. Uh, so it really, really gets at me when I see people who use bad passwords, uh, such as, you know, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but even, you know, a lot of times they're, they're better than that, but still, um, you know, a kind of a weak sort of password, and then when you use it for multiple websites, Sites. Now, don't get me wrong, I used to do this. Uh, you know, it's really simple to get one good password and then just use it for all the online websites, such as you know, Facebook, email, maybe even your bank, all that kind of stuff. Now, while that's nice and convenient, if all it takes is any of those sites that you like to go to, if any of them gets cracked or has any issues whatsoever and your password gets out, then that person who has it now has access to your entire online database. All the websites, all of everything, your email, uh, sometimes even your bank. I mean, it's, it can be really scary if you lose access to all of your data. Uh, so the way this LastPass works is that it keeps all of your passwords secure in one location and it keeps it portable. Uh, so today I'm going to be giving you guys a demo of it on Opera. And of course I don't want to do that. Uh, but I'm going to give you, be giving you guys a demo on Opera. Now this is available for a wide variety of browsers, uh, pretty much all the major ones including Opera, Chrome, Internet Explorer, you've got Safari, and you have Firefox. This also works for all, oper all major operating systems including, uh, including Windows, OS X, and Linux. Uh, there also is a paid version. This is uh, the standard version of LastPass, which is what I recommend, is totally free. If you want to pay for a premium version, which I believe is about $12 a year, you can get access to a few extra security features, and you can use it on your mobile devices, such as the iPhone, Android, WebOS, BlackBerry, and a couple of others. But again, I'm going to be showing you the basic version of it, and I'm going to be showing it on Opera. Uh, so for Opera, you just install a simple ex extension. It's very simple. Uh, and then you will have a little... Uh, pop-up dialog up on the top right of your screen. Uh, now this is where all of your options are. Now I've already logged in. Uh, if you, Whenever you turn on your computer you will need to enter your last, uh, your master password for LastPass which will unlock your vault and allow you to get at everything. Uh, so there are several really cool things about this and I want to actually open this up. There are a few major things. So one of them is generate secure password. This is something that I found is really really helpful. So of course it's one thing to come up with you know clever passwords that you can remember for various sites. However with LastPass you can make them totally randomized. So for example, let's say I'm creating a, uh, a new password. So I want a 15 length password with number, uppercase, lowercase, numbers, special, and yeah, so that sounds great. So this is my new password. That's obviously a long password. I'm never going to be able to remember that. But what I can do is click save on LastPass, and now that password, assuming that I just signed up for some website, that password is saved. So I don't need to remember it. LastPass remembers that that really long, complicated password. Anytime I go to that website, I'm going to be good to go. And the good thing with creating really long passwords like that is that they are next to impossible to crack. Now, obviously, nothing is impossible to crack, but it's really quite good. And now, there are a couple of other features if I go into the tools. Um, you, there's also a really cool thing called the security check, which allows you to go ahead, uh, once you've added all of your uh, various passwords into LastPass, will actually go through all of your passwords and say, hey, you've reused this password at three sites, uh, this password is slow, and I don't know why I was asking that, um, but it will kind of give you an odd it as far as what all your, some of your passwords might not be very good if you've uh, done them more than once and it will allow you to change them very simply so that's definitely a really good feature now let me go to the major part of LastPass which is your vault uh, now to get into the vault you will need to log in using your master password and of course always make sure that your master password is good uh, now before I do, uh, continue I do just want to mention one thing about LastPass I know some people kind of get a little bit anxious when you have all your passwords in one place however the thing is a lot of the time you might already have that so for example if you use uh, one of your standard browsers uh, for example if you use you know what, whatever browser it is and you have all those passwords saved more than likely all it takes is a single virus and all those passwords can be taken uh, it's pretty simple to usually to pull up your various saved passwords whereas in LastPass you need to have your master password and indeed there are additional things such as multi-factor authentication which will for example for the with the grid it'll allow you to pull out a grid like battleship and pick out you know different numbers and letters which will help increase the security of your account so let me show you uh, how this works so for example let's say this is my Yahoo account 
Uh, now I can pull this up and actually see my password, I can see my username, all that kind of stuff, and it will automatically uh, give me options to autofill or auto log in. Same way goes whenever you go to a sign up or change your password, it'll offer to create a gen uh, generate a brand new password. So there's a lot of really cool things about LastPass, and I highly recommend that you guys take a look at it. Um, you know, that's what I use. I really enjoy being able to not really worry about all my passwords, can have some really long randomized passwords for various different websites to kind of help me give a little bit better sense of security. So anyway guys, if you guys are interested in checking out LastPass, I'll have a link in the description. Again, it works for pretty much all browsers, all OSs, so might as well give it a shot. And if you have a lot of bad passwords, or even indeed if you have some pretty decent passwords, but if you want to just step it up a notch, LastPass is going to be a great way to go.